That barmaid, I think she knows more about Maggie Fitzgerald than she's letting on. You know, we could be a lot closer to finding Esme's parents than we thought. Well, I hear you, and I agree, but maybe we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves, right? We have a, a hunch right now. We don't have any proof. And then we find some. Any suggestions? I think that you should go to that pub hmm. and push that barmaid for some more answers. Well, yeah, I could do that. Or, or you know, hear me out. But are you, are you still what? feeling jet-lagged? Sorry, Cyril, we're closed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I suppose I'll see you in the morning then. Cyril, wait. Yeah. What time's the next train to London? Ah, oh, the express departs at a quarter hour. Going on holiday? Something like that. Are you trying to distract me? Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just, you know, trying to collect my thoughts in it. But, it, but it's weird, you know. Like none of them. None of them are telling me to go back to that pub and hold the barmaid's feet to the floor. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean for you to go and interrogate her, no. but it's pretty obvious that that barmaid knows a lot more about Esme's nanny than she's letting on. Right. You know, that's, uh, you know, something we could do in the morning. And give her time to warn the nanny? Are you kidding me? By that time, Maggie Fitzgerald could be off in the wind. Get home safe. Good night. Half an hour before the train. Archie, sorry to call so late, but uh, <clears throat> I am uh, coming down with something terrible. <clears throat> I feel it in the uh, back of my throat, so I... Uh, can you open up for me tomorrow morning? Well, you'll just have to reschedule, because I'm not going to be here. 